As the chairman of the uh, Anthony R. Abraham Foundation, I first want to say thank you so much for inviting me to be here to represent our foundation. And I want to congratulate all the speakers ahead of me that really spoke to the value and the importance of this program and all the sponsors that donated time and money and effort to the educators who spent a lot of hours working on developing this, to the students who had input, I'm sure. And so I want to make sure that I say that first, because what I'm going to do next is something I'm going to ask you to be patient with. Because through life, in all the different things that I've experienced in the organizations we sponsor, I've noticed one thing. How do we become humble in our approach to life so that we can be better people to help others? So at this moment, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask the students that are here to come up here for me, with me. Could you do that? Because when I came in here, I realized there was a sign that said, this is an innovation center, right? So if it's an innovation center, then we as students need to be part of that innovation. And so what I want you to do is help me showcase what innovation really means. Innovation isn't about computers. It's not about four walls. It's about what's inside your heart. It's about how do you interact with your fellow students. It's about how do you give a handing hand. It's about how do you deal with kids with disabilities that are in your school. So I want to give this opportunity to speak to that because every time I come to one of these meetings, I'm always wearing my United States Olympic and Paralympic jacket. And there's a reason for that. Because there are those who came up today that have the ability to walk up here. You have your eyesight, you have your feet, you have your legs. You have all that you need to act as a normal human being. The other side of the Olympics is the Paralympic side. It's those individuals that are blind, that have lost an arm, that have lost two legs, that at some moment in their life have thought it was all over. There's no reason for me to move on. So I want to do a little experiment here because life is about being humble. It's about doing things that we don't feel comfortable about doing. It's about participating in things that we don't understand. But when it's all said and done, when you're finished going to this school, you will graduate from here and you will walk away with tremendous knowledge because not only are you using the tools that have been given you, and not only are you participating with the teachers whose only motive of being here is to make sure that they give every effort that they have in their body and their soul to make sure that you have an opportunity to excel and to reach your dreams. So this little exercise I wanna do, I want you to follow me. All right, everybody put their hands over their eyes. Okay, let's put your hands over your eyes. All right, I want you to walk two feet forward. Go ahead, try to walk two feet forward without hitting anybody, go ahead. All right, if you're there, stop. Now walk two feet back, okay? Did you do it, everybody do it? Mm -hmm. Can I hear an answer, yes, we did yes. it? Yes. All right, put your hands down. All right, now, I wanna put your fingers in your ears, okay? Now, if you couldn't hear, the only thing that you have that God's given you is your eyes, right? So look in front of you, but you can't hear anything. So what do you have to do? You have to, you have to learn new skill sets. You have to learn how to communicate with your hands. So when you see somebody that's blind, or when you see somebody that can't hear, you have to also have that empathy to acknowledge them as a human being who wants to excel, who's no different than you, has a heart and soul, that wants to participate in sports, that wants to be able to, to, to do the things that you do, but he has a handicap. All right, let's put our, ear, our hands down. All right, what's, what's next in this agenda? What's next is if we can't see, and we can't hear, and we can't walk because we have no legs, then we have to deal with being in a wheelchair. Now, we can't do that here. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that education is not about the four walls we have here. It's how do you as human beings relate to those with less capabilities than you? And how do you share your knowledge, your whole human being 
as a person and help that person excel in their life. Because we all need a hug. We all need a friend. We all need to know that every step that we take, every word that we say, every movement that we make in our life has to be accounted for at some point. And what I mean by that is that Somebody said earlier today, we're not perfect. Absolutely, we're not perfect. And life isn't perfect. Today, when I was flying in from Washington, I got up at four o'clock, I got to the airport, jumped on a plane at six, and I thought I was gonna be here on time. But then when I landed, there was a, mer a medical emergency. I couldn't get off the flight, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna miss this. Not because I wanted to, but I was gonna miss it. But you know what, for some reason, the doors opened up, I was able to get out, and I was able to come here. This to me and to our foundation is the most important thing. Teaching young students and giving them the tools they need to excel, to dream. I don't know if you know this, but two weeks ago I was in NASA, uh, at Car uh, Cape Canaveral watching the first flight of an all-citizen crew that went into outer space for three days. They weren't astronauts. They became astronauts when they went on that ship. Why am I telling you that? Because each one of them that were picked to go on that spaceship always dreamed about going in outer space and thought it was absolutely impossible. So the impossible isn't impossible. The impossible is possible if you believe and you work hard towards that dream. It might not be a perfect path to that dream, and maybe it's not the exact thing that you wanted to do in life, but you will be prepared for all those challenges in life so that when you get to the age of maturity, you will feel self-assured that you have done everything you can to be the best person you can. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. God bless you all, and thank you for everything that you do for these students. Amen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.